flights are still on, expats have gone home, businesses are hurting, but there are opportunities, particularly if you go niche. Once again, Hong Kong is still vibrant. This is a, a comparison of two cities. You've got Taiwan and Shanghai, the view from our Austrade office, actually. So as I mentioned, things still sparkle in our markets, and why? There are four key areas that I wanted to highlight. I mentioned before um, in, uh, the government um, resilience. And this slide here just shows you that um, periods like this are not new to our markets. We've been through the Asian crisis, the dot bubble, we've been through SARS, and now we're going through this, this interesting um, period. However, the companies and the business are fairly resilient to the challenges um, of, of, that a crisis brings to them. So this is one important point. And in fact, by continuing your business with our markets, you might learn some tips from companies that have had to, had to struggle their, their way through um, times like today. So it's nothing new. That's one point that will get them through. Second, I said, is linkages. Um, China, Taiwan and Hong Kong, through this time, when the times get tough, people get, uh, get closer. And this is extremely true for Taiwan, China and Hong Kong. As I mentioned, this was cut out from the newspaper last week in Shanghai. Um, you know, tourism, other areas, investment, um, exchanges of people and capital. So, so sticking together is something that's going to offer opportunities for you. You might already be dealing with Hong Kong and your Hong Kong partners might then be able to take you to, into the mainland, to South China, um, for opportunities there. Another area is um, globalisation. We all think global um, and we want to sell local. So in terms of localisation, there are some common themes. People are worried about food safety um, and worried about general health and, and pollution and so on. So there are opportunities, particularly for markets like Hong Kong, Taiwan. They don't have agricultural sectors. Um, they need to import in whatever their people, their populations eat, drink um, and, and use in, in daily life. So that's an area for Australia where we'll still see some opportunity um, and some niche, some niche growth. Services as well. Um, I mentioned before, um, particularly say for example Hong Kong, there are some service areas. People are, are being let off or they're underemployed, so it's time to be reskilled. There are some niche areas in training and education. Um, in markets like Hong Kong but also Taiwan and China, not only in market but getting them out here. For example, last week I found out that one of our junior staff members, um, she's a temp uh, staff, she's applied to an American university. And in this current environment, the particular university she applied for closed its doors to some of the international students, even though she has the money, she has the scores. Um, so that's a great opportunity for us here in Australia for tapping into, into students who are, who are willing and really wanting to study abroad. And we might not have been the first choice, but we have our doors still open. Infrastructure, $585 billion, what's that going to be spent on? Um, there's some core themes. So of course, there's going to be a lot of roads, rail, new cities developed across China, but also regional Taiwan. Um, so this leads opportunities to Australian design capabilities, not only our steel and, and building products, but the services and technologies and consultancy. Ageing. China and Taiwan and Hong Kong, we're also ageing, <laughs> um, particularly China with the one-child um, policy. So this is an area that has some opportunities, whether it's working with the local governments in how to look after and sustain the lifestyle of the elderly, or is it education or products? Green, I mentioned the environment. I mean, this is a huge challenge. A lot of people you would have read in the, in the media about the quality of air and so forth in markets like Hong Kong and China. Well, it's a reality, and the government is stepping up to really focus on land, air, waste and water um, treatments and infrastructure development. Mm -hmm.